Hi guys, so today's makeup look is going to be on strobing, also known as extra highlighting. If you guys want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off my look with this primer and apply that all over my T-zone, wherever I have really bold, apply that. And then I'm going to look my, uh, prep my lips with this lip primer. And then I'm going to straight jump onto my brows. I'm just going to fill them in wherever it needs to be filled. Also, I'm going to go with this brow powder and fill them in a little bit more in the front also wherever I have a little bit um, sparks to give my brows a sharp looking look I'm gonna use this MAC concealer and apply that right under my brows also I'm gonna use the same concealer for my eyeshadow base And I'm gonna set this concealer with this translucent powder. It's not a translucent, it has a tint fit color in it. I also am gonna go with this Miami Eye palette and I'm gonna um, use this light caramel color for from my inner corner to my outer corner with this tapered brush from Sigma. And then after that, I'm gonna take this light color, which is called vanilla, and I'm gonna use this color right on top of my brow bone to give myself a cleaner look. I'm gonna use this uh, clean blending brush, and I'm gonna blend everything together. After that, I'm gonna take this um, color from my ColourPop. It's called Vertigo. I'm gonna use my finger to apply this color only on the lid. So make sure it's all over your lid. And then I'm gonna go with Sienna. Um, I'm gonna go from inner corner to outer corner with this small blending brush. So I'm gonna focus it on only my inner corner and outer corner and rest of it, I'm just gonna blend it all over. make sure everything is blended together nicely I'm gonna take this tapered brush from Mac I'm just gonna blend it any kind of tapered brush is fine you'll have to use the same exact brush <coughs> and then uh, with all this blending I lost some of the color I'm just gonna go over the same color pop eyeshadow and apply that only in the middle And I'm gonna take a tape and take all the excess product from the bottom from, from my face and then I'm just gonna do a regular wing liner I'm using Kat Von D tattoo liner in Tropaz I'm just doing a regular wing liner nothing fancy So as for a guideline, I like to create a line in the outer V and I like to create a line in the inner corner and then connect them together. And I'm doing the same steps in the other side of my, of my other eye. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more sienna and blending that all over. So I'm just focusing that outer and inner and whatever rest product is there, I'm just using the blending brush and blend everything together. And now for the concealer, I'm using this corrector from Bobbi Brown in peach, applying that with my finger 
only focusing that wherever I have really bad dark circles. So applying it with this thing, applying it with the, my finger and I'm blending it with this damp beauty blender. And my beauty blender is damp, so make sure your beauty blender is always damp whenever you're blending your concealer or any cream product. And now I'm going with my concealer uh, from NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, applying that wherever I usually apply my concealer, also wherever I have really um, acne spots and redness around my nose, on my chin, or discoloration around my skin. Any kind of discoloration, I'm just going over the same concealer. I'm blending everything together with the same blending brush. I mean blending beauty blender To set my concealer from creasing I'm using the same powder same as my skin tone um, and applying that with this beauty blender and now for the foundation, I'm using my sheer cover foundation with this Kabuki blending brush, applying that all over my skin. It gives me full coverage, also keeps me matte all day long. Uh, even though we're going for dewy looking skin, still this foundation is perfect. And now for my brow, um, for to finish my eyes, I'm prepping my eye. I'm using a mascara and then going on top with this lashes from Red Cherry 523. I'm making sure it's connected on both sides. And then I'm taking the tweezer and pushing my lashes upward. To give my brows a little bit more fuller looking look, um, I'm going over the same brow powder and just fill them in a little bit more than usual. And now for finishing my eyes, I'm using this Rimmel London. It's a flash tone liner and I'm using I'm just using it on my waterline. And my lower lash line, I'm just following the same steps. I'm using caramel on my lower lash line and then I'm gonna go over um, CN after this. And it's a small dome crease brush I'm using it. To define my lower lash a little bit more, I'm just picking up some that black eyeshadow is called dark brown and only focusing that of my outer lower lash line, only outer corner of my lower lash line. Also I'm gonna take the same uh, shadow same dark brown shadow with the same tapered blending brush and focusing that only my outer V so I'm picking up a little bit more and focusing that only on my outer V just to define it a little bit more and then I'm gonna take this highlighter highlight color um, it's called Linston apply that I'm, I'm gonna apply that on my inner tear down and then I'm gonna finish my eyes with this mascara applying that on my lower lash line and for my skin now I'm just gonna do a cream contour um, cream highlight and then on top of that I'm gonna use my regular highlighter so I'm using Benefit WhatsApp, um, using that on my usual spots wherever I highlight 
uh, on my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, everywhere and blending everything with my finger. Also, I took some of the same um, color on my brow, um, right on top of my brow bones, just to give my brows a lifted looking look. I forgot to highlight underneath my eye, so I'm just gonna go over this Kat Von D shading light powder and just gonna give myself a highlighted look. Same spots I usually highlight. It seems like I am using a lot of powders, but I'm gonna blend everything and setting it right after everything I'm done I'm doing everything I'm repeating everything too much <laughs> you will see what I mean guys um, and then just to give myself a light contour I'm gonna use this tapered blending brush and I'm using it usually wherever I hollow my contour hollows of my cheekbones Also right underneath my lips and then I'm gonna use a flash tone blush in it's like a rosy pinky color and after that I'm just gonna take a um, stippling brush and blend everything together so making sure there is no harsh line anywhere and if everything looks even out so I'm blending everything away together and now for the highlighted look, I'm using Champagne from Champagne Pop from Becca, and I'm using this uh, tapered blending brush. Apply it, applying it wherever I applied my highlighter before, cream highlighter before. And to set everything together, I'm using this MAC 6 Plus. Skin. Now for my lips, I'm using ColourPop Lychee. I'm not using any lip liner, nothing. I'm just straight going on my lips with this uh, liquid lipstick. Thank you so much for watching. And till then, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.